guts and determination pretty well describes Dale Earnhardt and a desire to win no matter what he did. Dale Earnhardt gave the maximum effort every time he got in a race car. Oh, oh Earnhardt in the grass! He never laid down, he never quit, he always stayed up on top of the wheel. He was going to be on that racetrack giving 110% every single lap of practice, every single lap of qualifying, and every single lap of that race. He was going to do whatever he had to do to win that race, and it wasn't about being cordial, it wasn't about being polite, it was about, hey, I want this win, I'm going to take this win. Earnhardt is making it work for any inch of ground they gained on him. He hangs onto the lead back in one. When the Wrangler Cowboy became the man in black, the Intimidator was born. Dale Earnhardt not only dominated a lot of races, won a lot of races, but he was the Intimidator. When you saw that black three coming, you knew if he was faster than you and you didn't get out of the way, you'd be hit. You get your front end in there, you stand your ground. A lot of times it comes out bad, but... Uh... You know, a lot of times you win races, too. He knew how to lean on people. He knew how to put somebody out of the way permanently or just for the corner. At some point in time in every race we ran, he had to deal with Dale. He never just pulled over and let you go. And if he did pull over and let you go, he said, now, what did he do that for? Oh, bam! Well, I know what he did that for. Now he wants to mess with me, you know? He was just really worried you to death to the point where he just kept wondering what he was doing more than what you were doing. And you just finally said, go on, man, you're, you're, you want it worse than I do. When his talent and tenacity came together, Earnhardt tied Richard Petty's record at seven championships. Earnhardt matured, okay? He was always a diamond in the red. Earnhardt shuts Richard off in the third turn. When he started, he was just red. Didn't know the dang thing about driving. He was just saying, okay, just when I get there, I'll figure it out. And by the latter part of his career, he knew where he was at at all times. And when he had to charge, he would. When he didn't have to, he didn't. So he started using his brain more than his wrong in, in his later years. I think the fans were looking for something uh, like that uh, in, in the sport. And uh, they got it with Dale Earnhardt. He was the uh, John Wayne figure of that time. When the door opened, he didn't worry about what was on the other side. He went on through to see. People seen him just as a big, tough guy out on the racetrack driving the black number three. But inside, he was a real genuine person. Fans felt like Earnhardt was one of them. The winner circle became a family circle. In the garage, he was both leader and prankster. And on the track, he was a champion. Slides it sideways and Earnhardt holds him off to win the race and knock down his seventh Winston Cup championship. The Daytona 500 was the one everybody said, well, Dale will never win that. When he did, every person at every race car, they all lined up to shake his hand. That's what he meant for the sport, and it's what he was made of. It takes a special type of an individual to accomplish what he did and to have the total following that he had. I don't think any of us realized how big his name was until his death. Behind the wheel, he was a legend. Behind the legend, Dale Earnhardt was a man who will never be forgotten.